Miguel Maravilla with Fight News. Um, how would you describe the negotiations for this fight? You know, the, the way they're off to a start. And um, is war demanding this fight to take place in Oakland? Um, okay, I guess living hell is a pretty good description of the negotiations. You know, but seriously, you know, there's a lot of nice people at Rock Nation, but unfortunately the leadership of their company just is not capable of dealing in good faith. Um, we're trying. And, uh, as far as I'm concerned, we have a deal. We made a deal back in June to put the fight at the MGM. Uh, I don't know what they want. I don't know what this tactic is that they have employed in the last 48, 50 some odd hours. I can only come to the conclusion perhaps there's some problem on the Andre, on, with Andre Ward, I don't know. Uh, but uh, I can only speculate. But uh, we have an agreement and we will see to it that uh, we all live up to it. What is the problem? Is it the site or is it the Well, today it's the site. Tomorrow, come back tomorrow. Tomorrow will be something else. <laughs> Michael. Hi, Chandra, we love Black Sports Online. Kathy, for the, you have expressed some difficulties in, in negotiating right now with Rock Nation. Is there any reason why you think the agreement won't be honored with them? Or is it just sticking points at this point? There's always a sticking point. There will be a sticking point until they get in the ring, and then they can't. They can, then I will be able to sit back and watch all of these months of hard work end in one glorious moment that I'm looking forward to more than anything in the world. Because at that point, Rock Nation isn't going to be able to do anything for Andre Ward anymore. Can't wait for the bell to ring, right, Kathy? <laughs>